Hello and welcome to the next lesson of the numerical integration. In today's lesson, we will talk about Wedley's rule. In the previous lesson, we had seen Boulet's rule, and in the more previous lessons, we had seen trapezoidal Simpson's three by eight, Simpson's one by three rules. So I'll suggest if you have not seen those videos, so please you can watch the videos of the trapezoidal rule for numerical integration. Simpsons 1 by 3, Simpsons 3 by 8. I have videos of all these rules. Now let's discuss Wedley's rule, which is for n is equal to 6. Again, we'll be using the Newton course quadrature formula just to evaluate or just to derive this uh, Wedley's rule. So here we can see that this is the Newton course quadrature formula. Integral of x0 to xn fx dx is written by nh y0 plus uh, n upon 2 del y0 plus n to n minus 3 upon 12 del 2 y0 plus and so on. Using this, we will be deriving the Wedley's rule, which is for uh, n is equal to 6. So as we have seen in the previous methods, we will substitute n is equal to 6 into Newton course quadrature formula, and then we can derive Wedley's rules. So you can see this is the Wedley's rule. Let's see the steps, how we can do this. Step 1. Let me remind you that this is similar to the uh, Boulet's rule or Simpson's 1 by 3 or Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. We have already done. The only difference is that here n is equal to 6. So first we will divide the uh, integration, the large integration into smaller subintervals. And such that the number of intervals here in this case has to be the multiple of 6. Now the next is we need the Newton Coates quadrature formula, NCQF, Newton Coates quadrature formula. By putting n is equal to 6, we will find these uh, sub-integrals. And once we have find these sub-integrals, we can sum all these sub-integrals to find the Wedley's rules or to obtain the actual integral. Here n is equal to 6. So now we can see that this larger integral x0 to xn fx dx can be written into the as the sum of smaller subintegrals. So here we'll have x0 to x0 plus uh, 6h fx dx as the first smaller subintegral. The next one will be x0 plus 6h to x0 plus 12h fx dx and so on. And the last one will be x0 plus n minus 6h to x0 plus nh fx dx. And we know the sum of all these subintervals on the right hand side will give us the final integral. Now we need to consider that uh, here from the Newton Coates quadrature formula, we will consider the terms only with order n is equal to 6 for the Wedley's rule. Like we have considered for the Boulet's rule, n is equal to 4, order of 4. For Simpson's 3 by 8 rule, we have considered till order 3. Now on substituting n is equal to 6 into this Newton Coates quadrature formula, you can see x0 to x0 plus 6h fx dx is equal to this will be 6h plus y0 plus 6 upon 2 del y0 plus 6 into 2 into 6 that is 12 minus 3 upon 12 del 2 y0 and so on. So on substituting n is equal to 6, uh, we could get the first interval that is x0 to x0 plus 6h fx dx. This will be 6h plus y0 plus 3 del y0, then plus 9 upon 2 del 2 y0 plus 4 del 3 y0, 123 upon 60 del 4 y0, 11 upon 20 del 5 y0, 41 upon 840 del 6 y0. Remember, we have to take terms till order 6 for the Wedley's rule. Now, on substituting these values, del y0, as y1 minus y2, uh, y1 minus y0, and uh, del 2 y0, del 3 y0. We'll substitute all these values in terms of y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, and y5, y6. We have got this 3h upon 10 y0 plus 5y1 plus y2 plus y6, y3 plus y4 plus 5y5 plus y6. So we get this on solving the above uh, equation and substituting the values of del y0, del 2y0, del 3y0, and so on in terms of y0, y1, y2, and so on. Similarly, this is the first subinterval, 
So similarly, the second subinterval that is from x0 to 6h plus x0 to 12h fx dx will be 3h upon 10. Now this will be y6. Remember, we have uh, forwarded like this was y0. So here it will be y6. This was y1. So here it will be 1 plus 6 that is y7. y2 plus 6 that is y8. Then y3 plus 6 that is y9. So we have 6y9 and so on y10. 5y11 and y12. Similarly, the last term will be is x0 plus n minus 6h to x0 plus nh. This will be 3h upon 10 yn minus 6 plus 5n minus 5yn minus 5yn minus 4, 6yn minus 3, yn minus 2, 5yn minus 1 and yn. Now on adding all these the left hand side will give us the final integral and on the right hand side we'll have the sum of all these sub integral. So just by summing up of all these integrals we can see that 3 by h is a common term in all the sub intervals. So now we'll take 3 h by 10 as a common term then we'll have a, from the first formula we can see y0 plus y1 plus y2 and so on till y6. So we'll take here y0 plus y1 plus y2 plus 6, y3 until y6. Then the second one, we are having y6 plus 5, y7 plus y8 and so on. So we take y6 plus 5, y7, y8, 6, y9 and so on and so on. So this is the uh, final formula that is known as the Wedley's rule for the integration for n is equal to 6. Now let's see with the help of an example how we can solve the question with the help of the Wedley's rule. Let's consider this example that we need to solve 0 to 6 integral 0 to 6 1 upon 1 plus x square dx by Wedley's rule. So the first decision is how many intervals we are going to take. Let me remind you the intervals have to be the multiple of 6. So we can take 6 intervals, 12 intervals, 16 intervals and so on. So let's take here intervals as 6. Now, once we have decided number of intervals, now let's uh, find out what will be the interval that is h. So as we know that h is always b minus a divided by n. Here b is the upper limit that is 6. a is the lower limit that is 0 from the integral. n we have decided that is 6. So this is 6 upon 6. This is 1. So the interval comes to be 1. So let's write the values of x beginning from 0. Then with interval 1, it will be 1, then it will be 2, 3, next will be 4, 5 and last will be 6. Now we need to get the values of y with respect to these values of x. What is y? y is equal to, as we know this is fx in the integral, this will just 1 upon 1 plus x square. So now once x is equal to 0, this will be 1 upon 1 plus 0 square, that is 1. So in place of uh, y, it will be 1. Next is uh, whenever x is equal to 1, this will be 1 upon 1 plus 1 square. This is 1 upon 2. So now this is 1 upon 2. When x is equal to 2, we are having 1 upon 1 plus 2 square. So this is 1 upon 5. So now this will be 1 upon 5. Similarly, when x is equal to 3, this will be 1 upon 10. Whenever x is equal to 4, this will be 1 upon 17. When it's uh, 5, this will be 1 upon 26. When it is 6, it is 1 upon 37. So we have created the values. And now let me show you that uh, this will be x0, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 and x6. And with respect to this will be y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and this will be y6. Now we just need to uh, write the Wedley's rule for this. So the Wedley's rule for this will be 0 to 6, 1 upon 1 plus x square dx. Let me first write the Wedley's rule till term 6. So this is 3h upon 10 y0 plus 5y1 and so on. So this will be 3h upon 10. And in the bracket, this will be y0 plus 5y1 
plus y2 plus 6 y3 plus y4 uh, sorry this will be y4 so this is plus y4 and then 5 y5 five, five, and then this is y6 as we know that we have term till y6 only so we'll close this formula here we'll terminate the formula and we need to substitute the values of these so this is uh as we know that this is so this is 3 into 1 upon 10 as you know h is equal to 1 now y0 this is 1 so y0 is 1 plus 5 into y1 this is 1 upon 2 plus y2 this is 1 upon 5 plus 6 into y3 this is 1 upon 10 plus y4 this is 1 upon 17 plus 5 into y5 this is 1 upon 26 and plus y6 this is 1 upon 37 so now we can solve this and uh, on solving we are getting 1.37349 so now this is the final result using the wet lace rule. So we can see the integral of 0 to 6, 1 upon 1 plus x square dx coming to be 1.37349 with the help of the wet lace rule. So I hope you have understood the wet lace rule and uh, with the help of this example, now you can solve the integrals, numerical integrals with the help of the wet lace rule. In the next lesson, we will be talking about uh, Euler's method, euler clarence method to find out the numerical integration. So that's it for the today's lecture. Thank you so much.